but the Communist Party first didn't know because they, first, they knew everything, the agents were everything. So then the students, the pre for, former or the previous day, they decided this. So then the Communist Party made the uh, decisions, you know, uh, to the because it was like an army, the country, like in the Soviet Union, you, the central board, then the all the units, uh, uh, like uh, in the settlements and then in the units, smaller units. So it went like an army structure, and everything like orders, like yes. always, uh, these uh, messages were sent to from uh, about to lower level. So in a short time, you could inform the whole party membership. And they were like a net where they uh, in, around everywhere in all the workplaces on, or yeah. even the apartment uh, houses everywhere there were uh, party functions who had functions so the whole sit this whole country was like a huge army mm -hmm. that is the system of the yes. communist idea yes and then uh, then they yeah. they uh, informed all the all the units uh, that uh, and every hour they changing so it seemed very chaotic the how they reacted to this because once they uh, prohibited uh, the whole uh, this whole student demonstration. Then one hour later, they allowed. One day, uh, so nobody really understands what happened because the uh, for some reason uh, they were not totally prohibiting it, but they, uh, there was a confusion. Probably there was some hidden uh, interest, maybe the Soviet KGB or some. Nobody knows. Many say now there you can read also it was behind some provocation. They wanted to to do this, but to keep things under their control. But for some reason they wanted to see. Uh, who is doing the people. things or, yeah. or so not really yeah. understood but at the end that was the last uh, decision was to allow it again so so then it was started the demonstration and but they sent all the communist party members so all the from all the units all the communist party members got the instruction they had to take part as well mm. in the demonstration and imagine they kept, they thought it was kept under control but totally the contrary happened so every uh, it after the polish statue uh, they came on the first bridge was rebuilt after the war in the market bridge they they walked all the war more and more and more people the whole st at the end half million people were coming to the square and it was totally totally uh, everybody uh, uh, be, uh, had this uh, it was like an like an epi like a contagious this uh, euphoria this uh, uh, that it's possible and they, uh, it was like a dream and uh, it was a totally even these uh, independent of the political affiliation or everything uh, all even all those who were sent on political basis uh, uh, to keep it uh, uh, i think uh, uh, suppressed yes they also uh, uh, were uh, Caught up joining in all that. Oh. so everybody uh, not this uh, the book everybody became so enthusiastic and the total national unity the whole day was like like uh, you can see this on the faces uh, this is the when they are going the chain bridge right. also was already rebuilt mm -hmm. and the market bridge so two different mm -hmm. right direction mm -hmm. the uh, they coming and uh, you see mm -hmm. this was the square already dark it was the uh, end of october uh, but uh, and the hardliner communists were inside the building and they wanted then they lost the control of this thing in spite of all their efforts it went out of, out of the control party and it became uh, the biggest mass demonstration and biggest uh, mm -hmm. uh, revolution. All right, the people, they were cutting out uh, the uh, hammer and sickles in the, from the middle of the national flags and they became the symbol and they wanted <laughs> wow. these demands of the student yeah. and they were, the national poems were of Petufi mm -hmm. and others were uh, the great, uh, the famous actors were reading out the poems already at the Polish statue and then it became such a big enthusiasm like so many years the Hungarians were oppressed and uh, uh, humiliated continuously we couldn't uh, sing our national anthem during this uh, whole period uh, after the, uh, they took the power, the communists already seven years uh, Hungarians couldn't uh, use their national flag only with this hammer and sickle, couldn't uh, uh, even any type of mentioning uh, uh, national pride or anything was just like Germans were, were but the, the Hungarian communists were uh, oppressing as a, it's a nonsense. Also later in the soft regime this was a, like a paranoia of the regime to yeah. avoid everything which is nationalism, mm -hmm. national, which uh, was uh, continuously uh, for us, it was continuously that why we uh, was uh, made a uh, not a sympathy, but was that part of the country for him, it's remained, mm. uh, at least in the family level, mm -hmm. uh, we didn't like the regime. That was the main reason uh, that uh, uh, you, it was called criminal. To, to Even the Hungarian national flag was never 
uh, possible to use it. Mm. Uh, in, when I also, in, until 19, uh, until 90, uh, for, uh, until 89, yeah. was, you will always find two, uh, two things uh, in every uh, gate. You will still where they are remained. Two, two flag, flag holes, flag holes. Yeah. because only together with the uh, red uh, flag mm. was you, never you could never okay, use it alone. <laughs> There was no national, like Petufi as a revolution, no national days were possible when traditionally Hungarians put the national colors, but only together with the Soviet uh, Republic, which was one week later the, as a mm -hmm. day, the uh, 15th of March and the 21st of March. So it was not uh, highly, not a workout day, but at the school we had a ceremony when they always uh, together the national flag and the red flag with the red star, and they together they were rem remembering. So the Hungarian National Revolution was never uh, celebrated alone, but always together with this uh, Soviet Republic in 1919. Uh, and they were really afraid of everything, uh, which is uh, which is uh, because also of this revolution. But the revolution was the first time after so many years when you my. My mother told me that the grandfather, my grandfather, my, his, her mother, uh, sorry, his, her father was taking to the church, but they were not religious, taking her to the church just because it was, it's a prayer, it's a religious prayer, our national anthem. It was only possible in the, in the church uh, oh, uh, to, wow. to sing the anthem. So that's why uh, uh, people, those who were uh, um, courageous enough, they were doing these things because it was prohibited. Everything which was prohibited, we were called the guilty nation, like Germans. And, uh, and that's uh, how you understand it's like a, like a sudden liberation. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you can do things which for so many years it was not possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you wanted to do it in a good way. And uh, in independent of political side or ethnic or religious background, everybody could be the, the happy participant of the same thing. So it was not only the biggest uh, uh, revolution in the history of Europe after the Second World War, but also the most beautiful in our history, the most beautiful moment of our history. Mm -hmm. So then, unfortunately, it went to the violent way. After, but the first day, no. no. The first day was, and then the, this, uh, it was outside the parliament. And this is where the, the dark uh, uh, time, the hardliners were inside. They didn't, they were very afraid, very frightened. This whole huge crowd. And then they were switching out all the lights. That, uh, and they wanted in every way that the people should uh, go home. So no total dark in the square, but the people were inventious and they had the newspapers and they were making torches with newspapers and everybody there, okay. and everybody uh, wanted Imre Noj to come. That was the demand of the people. That only communist leader, he was uh, retired, uh, forced to retire, but they took him to the parliament because the people didn't want to go home until he is coming, the reform leader. Yeah. And then he, they wanted him to speak to the people. And the people wanted practically to, him to become the leader of this revolution. Wow. Yeah. Imagine him, who was a, a totally, um, he was not adequate. He was communist. Though, he was a communist and he, even if he was already a prime minister, but he was a quite a rigid uh, person and he, uh, he was not uh, suitable for this role. Uh, and uh, but the people it was a big misunderstanding the people were so he didn't un he had to come here to pe speak from the balcony finally but he started his speech in a communist way that uh, comrades uh, and then imagine that all the whistles were starting mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are not comrades anymore and then he had to uh, change it uh, of fa fellow citizens and please be good and uh, and uh, i try uh, I will, I promise, because they wanted him to become the prime minister, as you saw in the demand. And I, I promise, uh, uh, I will try my best uh, to, to, co to do some, to continue uh, some reforms. And it was very vague, very weak. And, and, uh, but just uh, be, please be good and go home now and, and start uh, work uh, normally tomorrow again. So it was totally other. Uh, uh, they wanted him as a leader and he wanted uh, them go back and some weak promise. So, that's why it was a disappointment and many people after this uh, they didn't go home but another big crowd from here went to the radio building because the students wanted to read these 16 demands in the radio so that's why we still have time so now i have to accelerate the whole tour i think but uh, to go to the radio and to see it but uh, here i uh, uh, can show you his statue uh, imre Noy. he because he was uh, finally the the, because that evening they started the fights. That night the, star, the fights were started. I will show you. It was a very nasty thing how they started shoot the people from the radio building, and the, then the revolution started. 
and uh, it uh, was five days when the the Soviets uh, also uh, retreated. But there was a massacre on the square in two days later when there is the memorial of it in the 25th uh, of October. And see ya, see ya, Miki. You all. Angelo Cina, Polish. She is doing the <laughs> tour guide in uh, tour guiding in Polish. Ah, the okay. Polish and Polish understand our Your company history. also? No, uh, we were working together oh. years ago, but she's a nice lady and uh, she's doing it English and Polish. Yeah. The Polish understand very well these things. Yes, oh, okay. of course. Yes. The common history, you know? Yes. He, but he has uh, committed many, many crimes earlier. So that's why it's uh, now some for some, like the government, I read recently, one week ago, that there is a plan to remove this to another place and to give the original one for the victims of the communists to, to put back. That's why there is a message, political okay. message that some, no, uh, so there are always some political uh, debates. What, what do the words mean exactly? That the, uh, Nagy, the statue of Nagyimre, we don't uh, let uh, uh, to remove from here. Okay, right, okay. But there is not yet decided by the parliament this thing. Uh, just uh, there is a plan, I also read it. So, uh, but uh, again, right and left. <laughs> yes. Because he is the only one who is accepted by the socialists. They, are, they made this during the socialist government. And uh, because uh, uh, they, otherwise they don't want to speak much about the revolution, but they, they somehow mm, they make. Uh, uh, this is a, now there is a there is a consensus about uh, he makes a consensus between right and left his person at least, and uh, uh, until it is not removed. <laughs> yes. So and uh, but uh, he is was uh, he is a symbol. It's a symbol. His statue because he was in prison after, because he, first he made this democratic guard after the Soviets withdrew and left Hungary and they seemed to start negotiations. Khrushchev started negotiations with Hungary. One week democracy came, he, he became the prime minister and he uh, accepted what people wanted. But he already lost this historical chance to keep these things under control, yeah. under his hands. Because if he, at the beginning he accepts to be a leader, he could have maybe okay, keep it more, uh, uh, not so strong, uh, but le more Childish, acceptable yeah. for the yeah, Soviets true, and like true. a bridge. Yes. himself but True. he lost it and only many days after when the victory was already made by the people without any leader on yeah. the streets he already sided the people and he already did what everything they wanted yeah. it was too far for the yes. Soviets. but the yeah. uh, nasty thing was that the soviets yeah. pretended to accept his government when it was formed he announced the free elections he announced the free elections of hungary he yeah. announced the neutrality of the country to come out of the Soviet bloc. All the things that people already wanted okay. after the revolution has made the, the victory. Yeah. And he, he won, he, uh, uh, though uh, it was a trick only, because yeah. the Soviets, the Soviets, uh, Khrushchev, he, he pretended to uh, accept his government and start the negotiation, but it was only a trick. Now I uh, learned uh, recently, but there was a secret telephone deal with, uh, between Eisenhower and, and Khrushchev that uh, the Americans uh, gave free hands for the Soviets. They, really? they assured that the West will not interfere oh, really? in anything and they can do whatever they want. Why was, they was that, why was that they American interest? They also to the Suez Channel crisis, that it was, it was more important for the Western countries. The Suez Channel crisis was at the same time with yeah. the Arabic countries, the oil and everything. Yeah. And then they probably didn't, they also maybe argued that 
Uh, I don't know what, how, why they decided this, they but like probably not to risk a third world war in the, yeah. if we are in the Cold War. There's, so any, anyhow, they left Hungary and, uh, to his fate. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, oh. But uh, they, a little nasty, I think. Many outraged Americans. Yes, but Many no, I mean, mm. Hungarians trusted so much that they, uh, because they, there was a Hungarian radio studio was not uh, uh, able uh, to uh, always to work. And in those days, and the, what many people were also listening to the Free Europe radio and the America's Voice, which were Hungarian language broadcasted, and in those days were not disturbed like in normally. Normally, they would, yeah. you couldn't really yes. hear them. Yeah. But now you can clearly hear them. And mm -hmm. they, it was important because the people learned. It's interesting, but they learned the real news, what's happening uh, mm -hmm. from uh, foreign uh, yeah. uh, Hungarian language yeah. broadcast. But so uh, these uh, broadcasting were also make a propaganda very strange. I think it was a confusion also maybe on the American side because co continuously they were broadcasting the, uh, this message to, to in these radios that hold out, hold out, we are coming, we are coming. And I think it's in, it raised the number of the victims. Right. This is a fake information yeah. which was coming from these American and that radios. that was the beginning mm. of that division yeah. with the communication system yes. and mm. what it is today. Mm. That was the beginning of it. So anyhow, many mm. hung, uh, so the people are really trusting the Western help, mm. and that's why it lo was lo one reason why it was also lo lo lasting so long this mm. resistance. Because when the Soviets suddenly, on the fourth of November, yeah. they were uh, invading. Yes. When they, at the uh, same time, they were pretending uh, negotiations were always written in the newspapers that the next step of the negotiation, that, and then it was only only lying because they uh, pre prepared their invasion already mm -hmm. in the background. And then even much, much more troops than ever, uh, like uh, 300,000 troops with 6,000 tanks uh, came uh, suddenly in the early morning in the uh, down of uh, the 4th of November against these people, because they knew that it was not, the, the Hungarian army was neutral, was yeah. not participating even in the first fights. So in the peop uh, this uh, National Guard was, uh, was organized by people who got uh, rifles, but many were only fighting with Molotov cocktails, with these beer yeah, bottles, yeah. with gasoline, yeah. so even not real weapons. So then the Soviets thought it was one hour to crush this whole thing, because there are not soldiers, yes. they are just the citizens. Yeah. And that was their big mistake, because they didn't know how tough the Hungarians yeah. are. Yeah, because it took one week one other week, the resistance yeah. points were formed everywhere, and the people were very tough. Yeah. So that's why, uh, and uh, what I wanted to show, the, the famous, uh, uh, this was, uh, uh, but I will, uh, when we sit down somewhere, I will okay. read you what is the, the uh, Imre Noy. Okay, uh, in the early, hour, okay now, in the early hours of this morning, Soviet troops attacked our capital with the obvious intention of overthrowing the lawful democratic Hungarian government. This was the uh, red in the radio in uh, Hungary uh, yeah. every uh, five minutes. Uh, his uh, radio speech. Yes. Uh, when, uh, on that, that day. Wait. Our troops are fighting. The government is in its place. I informed the people of the country and the whole world about this. And then the Fate Symphony of Beethoven was play, played. Still today, my, for my parents, when the Beethoven, that symphony, Beethoven always reminds the revolution. Which one? Uh, the Fate. Fate. Oh, Fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know which in number. Yes, yes, yes. And, yeah. and it uh, became a symbol of the as music. Yeah. Uh, and then the, every other five minutes, the, in three languages, uh, English, uh, French, and uh, German, the help, uh, SOS, SOS, to send to, to the whole world. And then, mm. but it was not totally true. I also don't understand why he made this speech because it was not true. Because he just at once he left the parliament and went to the and the Yugoslavian embassy offered him an as asylum and protection. And he, Imre Noy, uh, he went there. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and then a few days later they gave him to the Soviet oh. Imagine. So it was a betraying. But uh, oh. they pro promised, because Yugoslavia was neutral, a Who communist country, but neutral, yes. not part yeah. of the Soviet Union. Who was it that was given? Imre. Imre, yeah. yeah. Imre Noy. And, yeah. uh, uh, but this was already not true. I don't know why this was. This was also misleading a little bit for the whole population because uh, it's not true that the troops were. Uh, the, the, military, the official military was not fighting, and yeah. the government is in its place. It's also not true because they went to the embassy at once. Yes. So, but maybe. So I, it's, there are a lot of strange things about mm -hmm. how these things happen. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, he was uh, uh, first taken to Romania with his ministers from this democratic government uh, in a. Uh, Romania in Romania in a secret uh, like a 
holiday resort of the Romanian party, but under uh, house arrest. Mm -hmm. And then they, after half a year, they, because I think all the world was in upset about this uh, Hungarian proceedings, yeah. and, and the, also the communist countries had to decide, and uh, the Soviet Union with the other communist party leaders. So I think they were always negotiating the Hungarian cause. Yeah. And uh, they were very afraid, but all these things happened here. And uh, then they were not touched the first. But uh, after then they have decided they are fate, they were taken back uh, to and uh, imprisoned in uh, here in Budapest, oh. in one prison, uh, but nobody knew uh, where they were, so they were in the central uh, prison. And then uh, they, uh, now we know the history, what happened. They went to the new government, this puppet government of Kadar, was uh, came coming back with the Soviet troops, and yeah. they worked very hard for them to re-establish re their power because the whole country was in a continuous strike. Mm -hmm. Af after the Soviets finally uh, crashed the revolution, yeah. nobody wanted to uh, cooperate with yeah. this new government. Yeah. In uh, anything, they promised the uh, amnesty and uh, everything. Uh, wanted because the Hungary, the workers' councils were formed everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, were for founded everywhere, and it's I think very interesting, unique experiment in history. don't know if you want to sit down for a moment, uh, because I tell, uh, to tell you this, what the workers' councils were, in every um, workplace, in every, because everything was state property. So uh, the capitalism was not coming back. It was a vacuum, total vacuum. Communists were fleeing. Uh, at, uh, when the, this democratic government was made, there was no property, no, pro uh, no owners. Yeah. So the, oh, yeah. the Communist Party was uh, fleeing to the Soviet, to Moscow. Uh, the, the hardliners, the Stalinists, this uh, new government, but a uh, very strange uh, situation, I think unique in the world history, because the ancient dream, the old dream of this socialism, or the, this uh, social democracy, communism, the left mm -hmm. uh, movement, the workers' movement, mm -hmm. to take the, uh, all the, the tools, the production okay. tools, the factories, the uh, properties, into the, the hands of those those should take uh, their owner, they are possessed, possess, mm -hmm. those who are uh, working there. So yeah. they, they should become the owners themselves. Yeah. They should, yeah. But this was not realized. These dictatorships became only like, like uh, state monopolies, yeah. like a type of mono-capitalism, yeah. uh, state capitalism. So this, yes. they don't realize the, the original socialist ideas, yeah. Yeah. these dictatorships. Yeah. So the people were like slaves of a regime, yeah. <laughs> so not the uh, owners of this. <laughs> Even if they always continue as they told that you are the owners now, but mm -hmm. it was not true. Mm -hmm. And then they wanted to realize the original idea. So they, in, and in no other uh, countries it, this experiment could have made because this is a unique situation, mm -hmm. made a total vacuum in the in the properties. The capital is not coming back. The, social, the communists are not here. So who will be the owner of this thing? What we are doing? Mm -hmm. And then they started this. Uh, that they formed like the, this uh, idea from not above but from underneath. The, so everybody, everywhere, these workers' councils were formed by the people who were there. Who the, the, all the workplaces, all the uh, uh, economy units uh, were creating their own councils. And then the idea could have been that uh, then they sent their delegations to the like regional um, uh, councils and those regional to the national council also. But it was not allowed by history to continue this experiment. It was only a few days, but this was started in Hungary. And uh, then. These workers' councils were still in their places. So Kadar had to, needed many months with the help of the Soviet, uh, everything, uh, in, in tricky ways to, to somehow to, to uh, get rid get rid of all this, the whole country was a total resistance. Mm -hmm. But uh, they uh, finally, unfortunately, they could do it. And then all the imprisonments, all the executions, everything was started. And, and then that's how totally 20,000 victims, because so many people were, thousands of people were also executed. And that's how the, the people were taken from their house. But it was not possible at once. And also the whole elite of the country were fleeing. Uh, when the frontiers were still open, uh, after the Soviets crashed this revolution, uh, uh, towards Austria. That's the uh, that group. It was still, uh, for some uh, days, it was possible to go across the frontier. And uh, 300,000 uh, people were running uh, through the, uh, and they went to different camps, different uh, uh, like refugee camps to Austria first, and they were distributed to the whole world. Many went to America also. Mm -hmm. Uh, like my my uh, um, father's uh, sister, Aunt Eva, my uh, aunt, she went to Canada, and uh, my grandfather went to Switzerland. So in almost every family, we have yeah. family members who fled in those yeah. days. What number so, of people would have left the country uh, then in those weeks? I think that those, those three days, 300,000 
people oh, uh, fled. People, and yeah. also later, many other people late, but really, so it was very difficult. But yeah. still, we called it dissident, dissi, dissident, dissidents, dissidents who are leaving the country without permission. Yeah. Uh, many people still later continued always during the years to yeah. leave the country, but it was uh, very difficult later. But, uh, so uh, that was also bad. And uh, then he was uh, uh, not uh, re uh, he was not cooperating because Kadar, this uh, when he totally made his power already, and also they were uh, in the prison. Uh, he they went to his prison, uh, the regime. Uh, to offer a ministry position in the in this uh, government yeah. with a, uh, one condition uh, he uh, had to uh, betray this revolution he uh, had to in the radio in the public uh, to announce that he uh, uh, give a speech that he had reg regretted everything it had been a very big mistake and everybody yeah. should support this uh, government but he refused it he oh. was not only originally a rigid man who made mistakes uh, at the beginning or earlier but uh, also now now he became on this side and he, he refused everything. He, and that's why he became our hero. Oh, okay. Because uh, because he was not original hero, but he became, because he... he converted. Was, yes, yeah. he insisted yeah. that he is a ju just. This was, uh, he didn't make any mistake. This is, he was totally, it was a fair thing and just. He wanted only a democratic, uh, uh, more democratic system. And, uh, and uh, but uh, he is a communist though, but uh, uh, the, the, with the democratic ways, it uh, would have been possible, and it did, and it's all uh, all accusations are fake and mm -hmm. totally. And just so he was stuck. He mm -hmm. didn't want to mm -hmm. to make tricky tricks and everything. Wow. It was a, in a, in his way, he was an honest person. Yes. Yes. And and then uh, he remained in the prison with his ministers. And two years later, in, in fifty eight, they were executed. It was not, uh, it was a like a theater. With a not open trial, but it was only in a very small obituary uh, in the uh, don't know, behind page of the newspaper. Yeah. So it was not at all in the news, and uh, but people knew and from mouth to mouth. But but it was not an not a open trial. So anything. Qatar, yes. Qatar so it was a very nasty, this, really. very Qatar's dirty government. Yeah. Yes, a very yeah. dirty political yeah. executions, yeah. and as uh, many other thousands of people were executed. For example, young people, many participated in the revolution. Young kids. And then they were eating uh, uh, when when they were 18. Imagine this uh, uh, this very very uh, cruel regime because they waited until they are 18 because the law was that uh, no minors can be executed. And that just was the gift, the birthday gift in the prisons for many who were uh, teenagers when they participated in the revolution to hang them uh, when they were 18 on the just on the birthday. Oh my God. Yes, uh, dozens of uh, kids were, oh and, and uh, so many others. But this lasted until 1958, uh, uh, 59, and then the whole general amnesties and everything. And then the Qadar's all efforts were to make it in oblivion, that we should forget about it. And uh, it was enough for terrorizing mm -hmm. uh, society. And, and now to, to everybody should be happy. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then uh, should, re, uh, should betray, everybody should betray it and forget, and we make it uh, uh, better. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hungary. So that's why when I was, <coughs> so I have a good memories of my childhood because mm. uh, that was totally different. His yeah. slogan, Kadar changed the original slogan of Lenin. I think he was softer than uh, other communist uh, mm. countries because he, because Lenin told his famous slogan, anybody who is not with us is against us. Yeah. And the uh, Kadar's uh, slogan was a little modifying, anybody who is not against us is with us. <laughs> and it's a big difference. Clever. Yeah, clever, it's a big yeah. difference. This yeah. means that anybody yeah. can have a place in this society. It's the only condition is that you shouldn't fight openly mm. against the regime. Yeah. And then, you, unlike in the 1950s, the people could uh, mm. have their privacy. Mm. Nobody will take you because you say this or that against the mm. regime. You can... Uh, only thing is that you keep it in your private... Yes. Yeah. Even, for example, people could go Okay, you couldn't make a good career, career then, but at least you could go to the church, you could be religious, you could have your own opinions, make jokes about it, but anything in a very, very, very polite way. Yeah. And, not, uh, and it was uh, called uh, the soft regime. So, yes. called the uh, goulash communism. Goulash. Goulash communism. <laughs> because uh, they gave everything, the, the modest, uh, a modest well-being for everybody. Uh, yeah. Everybody can have food enough. Or, 
yeah, uh, price, drink yeah. uh, alcohol. Yeah. Uh, uh, go to the Balaton Lake uh, to have a summer resort, but uh, small ones, one by one, mm. like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but very small, tiny gardens, but everybody equal. But mm. still, you have uh, uh, that, like uh, the sea resorts and the, yeah. and the lake. You have the communist card, and every, so this was granted to everybody. So every and the, already from the 1960s, 1970s, everybody could uh, share, could enjoy these uh, these things, uh, which was considered as the, the state, uh, uncle state, is yeah. giving you all these like yes. gifts. They, they yes. wanted to keep us as children, but to make us happy. Yeah. And so, so uh, that that's why Hungary was by many communist countries mm. uh, was envied. Mm. Because you know most countries, except maybe Yugoslavia, mm. Yugoslavia was uh, also a better life, yeah. similar here. But uh, in the other countries, in the, everywhere it was worse. Yeah. It was more uh, strict the control over the yeah. people's lives, and mm. they were less happy. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, uh, about. 